be on guard at all times around this area. Stupid machine! Access encrypted files. More Krogan's causing trouble, guys. No, I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Oh, he's already pissed at me. I didn't do it! I didn't do it! Uh... Okay, I'm trying to throw him down. Jesus! That all just happened so quickly. He knocked me down, and I was trying to use throw on him, and it didn't really work, and then it did work, but then I got blown up anyway. Ugh. Oh. Well, at least we got a checkpoint here. Okay. Damn it. Shot too quickly. Back and forth. I don't even care. It's actually a pretty decent strategy, it seems like. <laughs> uh, this game loves to just like surprisingly throw you into these combat situations that you're somewhat unprepared for. But all right. Stupid machine. Time to clean this place. No, I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to comply. Damn it! Tell me Please contact your stupid if there is nothing else. Oh, it didn't even work on him. Okay, get up, get up. Get up! For the love of God, Shepard. You're killing me. Literally. He's falling back into cover. We're gonna play the waiting game. Maybe I should use... I do have that marksman ability, but I don't know if the pistol's gonna be a good thing to use against him. Is warp good on people like him? Yeah, that'd be good. Let's get up and try and use that on him. I'm alive. I am alive. Just Exo barely. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Shut up. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? Yeah, that's me. What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of subject species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. You bastards. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That's why they were acting so strange. Your pilot should be warned. Joker! Come in, Joker! Damn it! That field's blocking us. We've gotta drop that shield and get back to the outpost. 
VI, what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. Hmm. Let's investigate first. What do you know about the Geth? I have no specifics on the Geth as they relate to this facility. All sensors have been purposely decommissioned since their arrival. I want to know about Exogeny Corporation. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. Further inquiries regarding company policy may be directed to consumer information services during regular business hours. And he's a good company boy, isn't he? Who's in charge here? Who organized the research? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management deferring to the board of directors only when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. Individual employee records are confidential. Tell me about the Thorian. Species 37 was discovered several weeks ago when a small team was infected with spores while examining ruins near the Zoo's Hope outpost. The outpost was quarantined immediately and study of the infection began. Within 21 days, 58% of colonists exhibited altered behavior. Within 28 days, 85%. Okay, so it's not something that they did on purpose, but once they found out about it, they were like, well, might as well just roll with it and see what we can learn, right? So it's not as evil as it seemed at first, but still kind of evil. Do you know how the creature controls its slaves? The will subversion manifests as intense pain if directives are ignored. The effect is severe enough that subjects are soon conditioned against even minor thoughts of rebellion. Observation suggests the Thorian views its thralls in a utilitarian way. Care is apparently taken to avoid injuring them, much as a craftsman avoids damaging his tools. As long as no action is taken against the creature's objectives, the subjects are free to pantomime a normal existence until specifically tasked with something. What's the size of this thing? The Thorian appears to be a diffused creature. Its cognitive abilities are centered in large nerve bundles, but it receives data from kilometers of meandering tendrils. Jesus. We have discovered bundles approximately one meter in diameter, but these seem insufficient to coordinate the massive sensory potential it possesses. It may simply process such stimulation slowly, or perhaps there is a nerve cluster of a greater magnitude we have not yet encountered. Fuck, man. Um, hmm. That's scary. <laughs> is it intelligent? Can I reason with it? The Thorian does not exhibit the focused behavior of a predator. The release of spores is an act of survival, not aggression. It does trigger advanced behaviors in the humans it enslaves, but we have yet to discover whether it recognizes or is capable of recognizing humans as more than tools. It is sufficiently alien as to defy classification at this time. Where's the center of this thing? The Thorian is present as a weave of tendrils across much of the lower surface of Pharos. Observation of enslaved subjects suggests there may be key clusters that are tended by thralls. Unfortunately, direct observation of species 37 is limited or non-existent. So that told me that there's going to be a lot of slaves helping that thing out whenever we find it. Jesus. Please access my personal files. Elizabeth Bainham, research assistant, biomedical division, security level four exemption. You are currently under probation due to disagreements with management over established company policy. These sanctions may be lifted if your next evaluation is more agreeable. What triggered the probation? You were marked as combative about the operations of the Zoo's Hope Project, specifically regarding the handling of the infected colonists. As a result, you were tasked with monitoring the safety of the colonists for the duration of the observation. So she was worried about the people? Like in a good way or a bad way? It sounds like I was trying to stand up for him. Well, Elizabeth was, not me. <laughs> That's enough for now. Going to standby mode. Yikes. Probably a really, really bad idea to try and take that thing on directly, right? We should probably just go get, you know, go back to the ship and nuke the thing from orbit. That seems like a much better idea. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? Yeah, okay, we hit everything there, I believe. 
That's enough for now. Going to standby mode. Woot. Right. Well, I guess we'll keep moving forward then. I should probably save. I don't want to have to fight that Krogan dude again. Those are some of the toughest opponents in this whole game I found. Those dudes do not screw around, as it turns out. Hello? Oh, I wish I could do a stealth kill on him. Okay, let's try this out. I want to see if grenades actually work if we tag it on the enemy. I have to hit it again to blow it up. I get it now. I didn't know it was a remote detonation kind of deal, guys. I like their talking style, but how do we cut the power if it's coming from the ship? It will be difficult. We can check the other claws for weaknesses, but the Geth are very thorough. Well, we don't have a better plan right now, so yeah, let's do that. Easy decryption, here we go. You're mine, buddy. Ooh. Hurricane 4? Shotgun? Light armor for Corians? Phoenix 4? Could have some decent stuff there, let's check it out. Hurricane 4, not nearly as good as a Tornado 4. Not even close. Ignoring that. Let's check out Tali's armor. Uh, yeah, right off the bat, that's a pretty good upgrade. We also have that, but nope. Yep, that's as good as she's gonna get right now. Oh, she looks cooler now, too. I like that red. She really looks like a character out of Star Wars with that armor on. That's cool. What's going on back here? Okay, hold up. Can I mess with these claws? Glowing orb. Oh, whoa, what? what? The hell is all this? What is this place? Almost looks like the Geth built themselves some kind of church. The Geth blur the line between organic and synthetic life. It's natural to assume they seek understanding from a higher power. Yeah, this is very godlike, isn't it? What is this place? Almost looks like the Geth built themselves some kind of church. Weird. The Geth blur the line between organic and synthetic life. It's natural to assume they seek understanding from a higher power. And how much do you guys want to bet that Saren is using that to help control them? Whatever belief they have in this thing that they're worshipping here. <laughs> God damn! He lit me up in the short time it took for me to do that throw. Why does it rearrange my reticule when I pop up? That's stupid. I can make it work though. Yeah, guess sniper. Sit your ass down. Think we're good, Commander. Thanks, Dolly. Oh, are we on the other side of that barrier now? Or is this a different one? It could go either way. I uh, can't get up there. But we have something down this way. Let's take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Krogan's- oh why- I was- I was gonna use the element of surprise, and you guys ruined it. <laughs> you ruined it so much. Oh, Jesus. Um, let's get some barrier. Now let's get some warp on this guy. Why can't I shoot?
right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Area secured. Let's see. Two more points. I think these are both going in the shotgun because now we have Carnage. Turns our next shotgun blast into an explosive ball of particles that can damage multiple enemies. Okay. That sounds all right. <laughs> I do like the sound of that. Rex has advanced barrier. Nice. This increases the amount of damage barrier absorbs. Allows you to use barrier for a longer duration and more often. Very cool. And he gets stasis. Contains target in a mass effect field that holds him in place, but also makes him immune to damage. Oh, interesting. Being immune to damage is rough, but like... I guess it's useful for when you just really want somebody to stay right where they are. Gavin Hostel's console. Oh, we found this dude's computer. We can get him the thing he needs, presumably. Okay. Ugh, got it. Stinger 4? Firestorm 4? So many new weapons. And we got cryo rounds and a rail extension. Ooh. Let's check those out. Okay, so... That's not an upgrade for Rex. Let's look at the Hurricane and the Firestorm. Firestorm's pretty good, but it's not an upgrade for me. Maybe for Rex? Nope, not so much. Oh, wait. Yeah, it totally is. Yeah, he gets that. And then the Stinger 4 is... That is a really good upgrade for me, for my pistol. Yes, please. And then I can give Tali my old one. Hand-me-downs. It's the backbone <laughs> of all good equipment handling, right, guys? Okay, cool. Now I'm going to save before I interact with this in case I screw it up somehow. Sometimes they let you retry the hacking, and sometimes they don't. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> Never mind, we're all good here. He's going to pay me handsomely. We've got something on radar here. I doubt anyone's still alive in here. The gas are very thorough. Yeah, I'm not sure how to access it. Time to clean this place now. Maybe we wrap around him when we come back down here. I know there's another path down here. Oh no, we're kind of going in the opposite direction now, so maybe not. Down is blocked. Average decryption. Hey, Tali must be getting better, because I think before I could not do an average decryption. Edge 4, medium armor, duelist, and heavy armor human. I gotta check that armor. That could be good for me. Hmm. Nope, doesn't look like it's worth it just by the numbers. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Okay, there's a lot going on in this room. I'm a little scared. I'm gonna use barrier. <laughs> I shouldn't be scared though. This shotgun just destroys freaking everything in its path. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Where's that hoppy guy? I know there was one of those little frogger geth hopping around. I feel like I didn't get him. But I guess he is gone. Okay, cool. What's this shit? Looks important. These are getting a lot tougher. I'm ready for the challenge, though. 
Confidential, the test samples were due to arrive three days ago, but we haven't heard anything from the colony or the cargo vessel. We suspect the samples became volatile and recommend cutting off all further contact with the Notacrux colony. Even if the colony is discovered, no one should be able to trace the events there back to us. Hmm. Well, it's not so confidential anymore. Now, is it? Nothing's confidential from Shepard. I take what I want. Oh, I can't save here. Shit. Same as before, we don't have the ordinance to blow this claw. Let's keep looking. Um... Is that... A Terminator death? Okay. Why did you... Motherfucker! It moved my reticule again. Back up, back up, back up. Fall back, everybody, fall back. This is not a good spot for us. Not at all. Okay, we're gonna make them come up the steps and we're gonna funnel them. Geth Destroyer, so much for you. The shotgun is freaking amazing. This is interesting, Mr. Shepard. A hey. containment lab of some kind. Stop that. There's no armory. One claw in that ship. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there we go. That's how we use grenades. Clear. Nice. Did it, guys. Did it. Okay, this one's rough. This one's real rough. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I had a chance, but it was too late. Well, Omni Gelet. Cypher Tool 5. Omni Tool. Hmm. I should give that to... Tali, right? She likes those kinds of things. We got proton rounds and shredder rounds. There are so many items in this game, it's kind of insane. Yes. Oh, she loses her med charge bonus, but that's a really nice shield bonus and some tech cooldown bonus, so it's probably worth it in the end. I'll let her have that. What else we got down here? I tell you guys, I'm starting to feel a little confident. Oh, Geth Terminal skill too low? No! I was doing so good. I was hacking everything. Damn. That just brought me down. <laughs> uh. Nope. Got it. Private log of Dr. Gamoral. I don't trust this Cerberus group. They may pay us well, but if this gets out before we develop an antidote, it's just not smart. They won't tell us what they want the samples for or why they wanted them delivered to the Matano system. My records show nothing of interest out there. Yeah, well, your records suck. What can I say? Activate the shuttle bay doors? How about we do that in a second? I have a hunch that all hell is going to break loose as soon as I do that. So, yeah. Ooh, easy one. Love it. Stiletto 4? I doubt anyone's still alive in here. The Gath are very thorough. That's too bad for them. Alright, let's see what happens here. You find a repair ticket attached to the console. The damn door to the shuttle bay is fried again. Works fine if the PSI is 30 or lower, and the safety shutoff clicks in if the PSI gets above 34. But if the PSI is in the 31 to 34 zone, the door slams down with enough power to shear through a metal I-beam. Somebody fix this before one of my team loses an arm in that thing. Okay, so it has to be below 30. It definitely doesn't want to be in the 31 to 34. Basically, it just has to be below 30. Um... 13 PSI. Pressure normal. Wait. So does it have to be exactly 30? Uh... 
Oh, it's a timed thing, I see. So five, seven... Tali, get the fuck out of my way. You're annoying. Okay. 13, 11, 17... 7, 5... You actually have to be very precise with this. Oh, it's not timed. I guess it went down because I walked away before. So we got 13... Didn't we have a 17 somewhere? 13, 11, 17... Alright, I'm just gonna start hitting these. Oh, we want to get it in the 31 to 34, because we want it to break off the arm. I got you, I got you. We're not in danger, we need to break that thing. Okay, I see what's going on here. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. Alright, so... 17, 5, and 7... And then the three? Wasn't there a three? Did I make that up? Yeah, we didn't do it quite right. Oh, it didn't reset? Oh, I toggle them. I got you. Okay, okay. So you, you really don't even have to math this out. You can just kind of spam these buttons. But if you go over, then it shuts down. I got you. Alright, let's do 7. 11 is 18. Let's take that back down. Let's do 11. 17 is 28. And then 5. There we go. Perfect. Well, I guess that did the trick, huh, guys? Very good. The field barring the exit will be down. Now we can go deal with the Storian creature. This was my kind of mission. Kill a bunch of geth and end things off with a huge crash. I hope that ship was full of those geth bastards. <laughs> I repeat, Norman need a shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Norman need a shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. Yep, that's because they're going nuts from the infection. Keep those colonists away from the Normandy. Gun them down if you have to. Uh, will do, Commander. We'll fire off a few warning shots. That should send them running. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. Okay, so I didn't really intend to tell Joker to murder them. But I can't say I necessarily disagree with that either, because, yo, if that ship gets trashed, I don't want to be stuck on this planet forever. That would be, let's say, not ideal. So, yeah, it is what it is. Sometimes you got to gun down some crazy infected people. And by the way, guys, I'm not saying that this game ripped off Firefly. One of my favorite, actually, I would say it is my favorite television show. Number one favorite show of all time. But I am saying that there's a lot of similarities. And this game did come out, like, seven years after that show aired, so Firefly did a lot of this stuff first. But, uh, yeah. That actually kind of endears me to it more. Because it means that somebody out there loved Firefly enough to incorporate some of its ideas into its own story. And that's just cool. I have to figure out how the hell I'm getting out of here. I just came from up there. Where did I... Oh, there's a hall right here. Guys, I would lose my own balls if they weren't attached to my body. I'm also amazed that we're not getting attacked right now. And I'm sad I never found whatever... I still alive in here. 
this is on my radar. Oh, is this it over here? you are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. You lied to me. You said you didn't know about the Thorian. I don't like being lied to. That's not really what she said. I I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I, I, I never meant for this to happen. Where's the Thorian? The Thorian is underneath Zeus Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Norman into shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm shatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. <laughs> We're all just like, okay. We're not even really going to get a choice on that. We're just going to... I mean, that's fine. I, I do want her to come. I'm just surprised that there was no chatter about it. Still alive in here. The gas are very thorough. I thought I saw something else back here. Yeah, let's take a look real quick. This is the thing I was thinking of earlier. I couldn't figure out a way to reach this thing on my radar. It's like right behind this wall. Man, that's too bad. I hate leaving stuff like this behind. But maybe we'll get to it later? Maybe? I don't know. It seems like we're heading out of this place. But I can't, like, run back around there, right? No. Okay. I doubt anyone's still alive in here. The gas are very thorough. Oh, we've come back around. This is where we dropped in. I see, I see. Okay, so now... Where are we going to go from here? Maybe if I come back around... There's the Mako. Oh, here we go. Is this the thing I was trying to find? It is right around here. But I guess it's on another level? Below us, maybe? And where'd Lizbeth go? <laughs> it's like she's an NPC and she just magically dissolved until she needs to show up again. Didn't want to bother us, I guess. I'm not 100% sure where we're supposed to go from here, guys. I think we've explored all of this, pretty much. It's just that was just loot right there. I doubt anyone's still alive in here. The gas are very thorough. I guess maybe we just get back in the Mako and drive out of here. Maybe that's why we have access to it again. Just chilling out here. Let's consult the map right quick. Let's see if this tells us anything. Look at all these elevators. Exogeny approach. Upper level. Drop down. Midden? What the hell is Midden? Yeah, I think I gotta do some more thorough exploring inside there. But I'll tell you what, I am actually out of time for recording right now, guys. So, I think what I'm gonna do is take a break right here. I'm gonna save my game. We made some really good progress here. We're in the middle of this Theros planet. Exogeny has given us a lot to do, a lot to take on. When we come back, we'll try and find the Thorian and destroy it for the good of humanity. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. 
This is Mass Effect with Dude Long Couch. Hope you're still enjoying the Let's Play, and thanks for all the support. Really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.